Today we are going to deal with the two words vocation and vacation. This is only a change in the second letter but it alters the entire sense. As nouns, the difference between vocation and vacation is that vocation is a passion to undertake a certain kind of lifestyle with a complete trust done to him, the God Almighty. Of course, it is an unilateral call out of his preferential love why vacation is freedom from some business or activity. As a verb, vacation is to spend or take a vacation. Vacation, this is your free time from your duties and studies. In other terms, we call it holidays. Vacation is a fixed period of time off, the leisure time basically, whereas vacation is a mission and an unquenchable thirst for the action. While vacation is a freedom from some business or activity. For vacation, you need to have some plan. It is either you take a holiday off to make most of out or just take some time to pamper yourself from your work. This is related to fixed holidays, while vacation is what's feeling for a particular camps. Overall, vacation is a form of leave of absence from your work while vocation is a mission entrusted by the divine. So here we have two guests to speak about it clearly. Dr. Sajimol, the former principal of St. Bruce's College, who is very simple in nature and can give straight directions towards the former one, the vacation. And we also have Sister Smriti CSST at present working in St. Mrs. College. Will speak to us the specific meaning of the word vocation. Let's listen to them. Share their ideas to whomsoever it appeals. Hi friends. Today let us talk about vacation. Vacation is always a time for us for rejoicing. change of scenery, provide us with adventure and help us relieve stress and worry. Let us use our free time to appreciate the beauty of the earth and think about our place in the world. Also during vacation, we go for holiday trips with our family and studies tell us that vacation was a period of separation and social distancing due to COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. Lockdown is a time of curtailment of our freedom, but it is a time of great responsibility of taking care of ourselves and others. Though we are separated or physically distanced, we are not functionally stagnant. We had an opportunity to come closer in our thoughts and feelings and pray for the well-being of others. This gave us an opportunity to realize our divine responsibility of taking care of others, not only physically but also emotionally and spiritually during this lockdown period. We learned to express our concerns so acknowledge others by asking, how are you? Are you safe? With lots of concern and reverence. Also, we had time to make phone calls to many people who were not in touch with us for a long period of time. Let us take this opportunity to renew and 
reach out ourselves to serve others with more energy and spirit with my orientation to academics and experience as a teacher i would suggest that this is the best time to explore our creativity and update our technical skills i'm sure that some of you are in for a career in teaching i firmly believe that our traditional classroom teaching schools and colleges to facilitate the e-learning process make good use of this facility opportunity and time to keep pace with the changes our past experience teaches us the lessons that all the difficulties we have undergone has made us stronger and enabled us to face the challenges Education is an opportunity to recharge and restore our body and mind. We need to move away from the worries of everyday life and think about ourselves. Vacations are perfect for introspection. It is believed that knowing oneself is the beginning of wisdom. You should be able to evaluate yourself and a vacation is the best time to do it all of us are called for a special divine purpose but for a few who are called and selected by jesus vacation becomes a vocation let us grow in strength and lead others in the right path from darkness to light we often speak about a vocation I would like to spend time with you today trying to explain what vocation means and why it is so important. What is meant by vocation? What does God want us to do with our lives? Though numerous answers must be flashing through your minds, there is one thing that I am certain of and that is God's vocation will bring happiness. Let us look at the definition of vocation. A vocation is an occupation which a person is especially drawn to or for which they are suited, trained or qualified. The very meaning of vocation has originated from Christianity, from the Latin vocare, which means to call. Every one of us has a primary vocation that defines our state in life. Our Heavenly Father is a vocation promoter and has a particular plan for every human being that brings happiness and fulfillment. Everyone, whether they are aware of it or not, is made for God. It's beautiful to see how God's people respond to His call with generosity. We all have a vocation, a divine call to God's service or to the religious life. There are, there are numerous vocations, staying single, getting married and having a family, entering a specific profession, becoming a religious person and so on. But the most important question is, what is my vocation? Have you ever thought of the future? What will you become? Now is the right time for us to think. Choose the right path. All of us belong to God. But how do we know what God wants us to do? Through prayer and most importantly through His word. Remember that 
God has given us life, a beautiful gift. Ephesians 4.8 calls us such life's gifts in men. And we all know that a gift is forgiving. It doesn't belong to us. It belongs to our family, relatives, neighbors, friends, co-workers, roommates, classmates, and everyone we know. We are made to give ourselves totally to God. And if we listen for His voice in the quiet of our hearts, He will show us. Now we will find the greatest fulfillment. So let us pray for each other. not be afraid, rather let us trust in God and make our life a complete gift to Him who has called us. Surely we will be both successful and most importantly content. Pope Francis has rightfully said, God calls you to make definitive choices and He has a plan for each of you. To discover that plan and to respond to your vocation is to move towards personal fulfillment. Vocations are in the result of planning but an encounter with God that changes your life. Thank you. Thank you all for the support, encouragement and valuable suggestions for our channel. Hope you are enjoying and get inspired by the innovative activities of our students. We'll be getting our videos every other day. Just type SR Niranjan. Thank you.